Did you scare me, baby girl? <gasps> Who is that? Yeah, you? <laughs> Hold on, baby girl. Hold on. I had a whole thing I was going to start this out with. Ready? Okay? Let's do it. Step five. If you... Wait, no. You must... Wait, no. Step five. You can't be scared to hold me off, to show me off, and hold my hand. Step six, if you can't put in work, I don't know what you think this fucking is. Step seven, I can't believe I just said that. Step five, if you can't hold me off, <laughs> I don't know what you think this fucking is. <laughs> well, I just held your ball. Oh. We all like that, don't we? Good job. Oh, you can't leave that ball alone if you want. You'll get that ball alone. Oh, this is my new enterprise girl. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. One second. I wasn't ready, and then Zero was up in here, and I was like, I gotta do this. I gotta do this, because the time is now. <laughs> yeah, you better run. That was just too weird for me. Also, I'm sorry. I had to put a sweater on because I'm very cold. Probably the same sweater y'all see me wear a lot, but I don't care. I don't care that I have no makeup on. And I just got out of the shower. My hair is still drying. And I also have many pimples. Well, I actually just have four right now because... I'm stressed, man. I'm stressed. You know what happened? So I'm stressed. Well, I got this job. And, like, I got hired or whatever, but... I don't know why I look at my... I don't see my camera. It's so dark. It's I know it's right here. But the background of my screen is so dark, it's hard to see. But, anyway. I got this job. But they said no. No to this. I was like, bitch, it's my identity. Is a job worth my identity? I was like, how much are you paying? I won't know till tomorrow. But if it's not worth it, then honestly, I'm sorry. I'm not going to go to a hair salon, get my whole head bleached, and then dye it back to my natural color, which is red. So, I'm gonna have to go get some orange hair dye. I actually have it all. That's fine. I won't tell them that. I'll just tell them it's gonna cost me too much and I need to work first. Because as soon as they see my work initiative, I know they'll be like, you know what? It's fine. She might be crazy as hell and have weird hair, but she works very well. So, I'm banking on that. I forget how this works. Okay, I didn't want to fuck this up, and I did. Okay, sorry. 
Anyway, step one, you must accept that I'm a little out my mind. Step two, this is a waste if you can't lock me down to finish line. Step three, give me passion, don't make fun of my fashion. Step four, give me more, give me more, more. If you can't handle a heart like mine. Don't waste your time with me if you're not down to bleed. No, oh, if you can't handle the choking, the biting, the loving, the smothering till you can't handle it. No more, no more. Go home. Can we just be honest? These are the requirements. If you think you can be my one and only true love, you must promise to love me. And damn it, if you fuck me over, I will rip your fucking face apart. High school sweethearts, line up. Not trying to waste my time. High school sweethearts, shut up if you're not my type. Sorry, I got I get too into it sometimes. Anyway, I changed some settings, and thankfully my friend. I'm sorry, whoever this is. I won't click on your name, but man, I'm just gonna tell you straight up. I've struggled with, they don't know, well, they diagnosed me as having IBD, irritable bowel disease, um, since I was very young. I used to run cross country and all, and do gymnastics, and I got very sick all of a sudden, and then I had to do all kinds of tests, and it sucked all bad, okay? So, anyway, um, ow, that's what they diagnosed it as, but... They don't really understand, like, I had to get, like, some biopsies and stuff in my intestines, like, a foot of it was all jacked up, and it was just not good. Just not good. But, um, I have a stomach ulcer now, so I'm like, great. And if you haven't had a stomach ulcer, then you don't know pain. If you haven't had a jaw infection from a broken tooth, an infection from that tooth going into your jaw, and then up the side of your head... To the point where you wake up and you have no idea where the hell you are. And then you wake up again. And you're like somewhere else. And then the third time you wake up, you're in the hospital. (laughs) Because of a very nice customer. (laughs) Who actually followed me to the hospital. But anyway. I didn't get knocked out because of the infection. Oh no. The pain was so bad that it literally put me out. Because I, I, in America, we don't have health insurance like that. So... I was trying to, (laughs) I don't pray, I was trying to pray it out of, out of me, but it didn't work, so, yeah, but now that I have health insurance, I can at least go for stuff like that, so, yay, fuck me, Zero, I can hear you playing with balls over there, okay, oh shit, (laughs) oh my god, (laughs) I turned at her toy. The ball was just rolling. And there was no cat to be seen. And I was like. Somebody was playing with the balls. And then she just jumped out of nowhere. (laughs) I love it. Okay. Anyway. What I was planning to do here was. I was watching a couple things on YouTube. That cracked me up a little bit. Um, If I can remember the name of it. It was like. Stranger danger. Oh, horsies. I love horsies. If I got a horsey, though, I'd want a black and white horsey. Was that an Appaloosa? I knew that was Red Dead Redemption the second I looked at that. I didn't even have to look here. But anyway. Um. Oh. I kind of want to watch Euphoria. The first season looks annoying to me because I've had a couple, um, oh, I just watched, whatever. I had a couple, um, 
years of my life that I had drug addiction, you know? So I was like, is this going to bring me back to it? I was like, I don't know. I didn't, I was lucky in the fact that I didn't have to do anything too crazy or whatever, but I've seen crazy stuff and I've had to revive someone who has OD'd more than once. I'm talking mouth to mouth, shoot them up the nose with whatever. I, <sighs> crazy. But yes, um, I've kind of just been responsible as I've, my whole life when it comes to like doing or testing drugs or alcohol. But I mean, you're not responsible if you freaking do heroin. So I didn't shoot it up though. I, I mean, like, as if that fucking matters, but whatever. Um, I guess that's probably why I never had to OD. Or never did. Hey, you being mean to her? She's playing with balls. We leave... Hey, remember? We leave people alone in this house. Hey. We leave... Hey. Hey. Phoenix. 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 Stop it. We leave people alone in this house when they're playing with balls. Come bother me when I'm playing with balls. I dare you. Sorry. Phoenix is my Asian leopard, so he got to get... He is literally as smart as a toddler, so he understands English. He stopped. He's fun. He's just watching from far away. He's going to start again. He's like a mean little toddler. Not mean, but little mischievous bitch. What did I say? I don't know if you can hear him. Let me see if I can get him before I do this. <gasps> uh -huh. She just ran over every living thing. I mean, every living thing. Every part of the house. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is the sweatshirt. Oh, look how they're doing. Are you playing with these balls, huh? Oh, come here. I got you. I got you, baby boy. You're so cute. Oh, there he is. I got him. He's going to kick me. Because I had to snatch him up. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, this is so handsome. He's just standing there looking at me, disappointed. But you won't beat Zero's ass anymore, though. No one will come and actually get you. I'm always fronting with him. And he knows I am. This time he was like, oh shit, she's serious. She came and she touched me. How dare her? How dare she feed me food that I don't want but is really good for me? <laughs> Son of a bitch. If... Oh my god, if he's a son of a bitch... What does that make me? Anyway. <laughs> I, this is, this is my, oh my God. Just take it in. Take it in. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is what I'd search for. <laughs> but. This was titled, What I Like to Watch, so whatever. <clears throat> anyway, this is a masterpiece of a song. Really makes me want a sandwich. I could go get one. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, I want a sandwich. I might. It's only 9 o'clock, bitch. I don't gotta go to work until 10 in the morning. Alright, so... Alright. And this is how I fix my water heater. If any of you guys' water heaters need replaced, don't pay a plumber... What did they quote me? $619? Pay me. $300. I'll do it. Do you want to pay the whole price or half the price? 
I did my own. It's in my house right now, heating up my water and putting a new water heater. The sediment walking, blocking the water drain. What was in my water heater was nasty. That was the hot water that was getting on my face while I was taking a shower. Actually, my hair has been softer. So, kind of funny. I, I, the shit that was probably getting in my hair was probably disgusting. So, interesting. I love coming back here and checking and seeing nobody. Um, anyway, I will still talk as if somebody is here because I do this regardless. Okay, so she looks like an Egyptian queen or something. Well, she's the same thing? She got, like, gold balls on her head. And the... Never mind. But anyway, I was searching for... I swear his name was, like, Change or Danger. Change or Danger Human Remains? You know I'm into that weird shit. Confirm this is not the shirt. Stop contacting the family. Yeah, leave him alone. Um. Hmm. Human remains does not- a bra doesn't count. You lose that in the literal waves. I've lost them at the beach. It happens. Yeah, it's just random stuff. Tell me that's not Brittany. I haven't seen Brittany only in goggles or Brit, as he says. Oh, they find a little puppy. They probably fucking killed it, honestly. I I'm... Oh, God, why did this ha- Oh, because it types in human remains. Duh. Okay, we know what fucking this means back here. Damn, people be finding dead bodies and stuff? You know what happens, though? Um, whenever I do this, I want to look at all this, you know? But I can't. Because if I do, then I get... This is stuff I want to look at. But then I can't put it on YouTube. Well, I did get my laptop back. The laptop, I guess, with uh, Final Cut Pro. Just gotta learn how to use it now. Anyway, but we found body. Oh, I really want to watch that. Why am I so morbid and weird? Why? Um. Okay. And ain't no body underwater for 75 years unless they're in the fucking, uh, oh my god, what the, what is the name of that place? It's a body of water that has a lot of fucking salt. So it would take the, which they would float anyway, which doesn't matter, whatever. Um, but they don't look like that. That's probably some... What kind of plane has a hatch like that? It does kind of look like a plane, though. It wouldn't be a car. Okay. I kind of want to watch that. I probably already got in trouble. Do you think I already got in trouble for this? Probably didn't Learn Spanish with real Spanish TV. Mm, no no Click on words in the subtitle. To get an instant translation, learn that. Spanish with real Spanish TV. I love stuff like that because that's how Reaction I Matters learn. presents. I... Diver gets the most horrifying shock. That's how I learn. I have to focus. I mean, I learn just doing. And I, I have to, I don't know, there's some way about just doing that takes a hold of your mind. You get thrown into it, you got to do it, right? 
But trying to sit there and go through words, of course, when you're in college, it, they make you do that. My Latin, I mean, not Latin, you know what I mean. Medical terminology Latin is whatever. But when it comes to, because I was forced in school, trapped, I was trapped there. Anyway. Look of his life. Shut up. Anne solves a 75-year-old mystery. <sighs> shock too. To make your day just that little brighter, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Heartwarming? Deep sea diving is an activity that many are fascinated by, but also it. one that few people will ever end up venturing off to attempt themselves. Hey, There are many amazing poor? creatures and environments that are hidden below the surface of the ocean along with many mysteries that are waiting for mankind to discover them. I'm like the type of person that if I had the money, my, my dream in life is to fly planes and helicopters. I want to fly helicopters to do like photo shoots of areas, to tour people around cities, to be on call as a rescue EMS helicopter. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to do it all, you know? That's a job for me that is the whole like, Bring it back around to to burritos. It's not a burrito, but whatever. The whole enchilada right there. Helping people. Looking at cool shit. Doing what I want to do. Having an awesome ass time. Everything. Probably getting paid well also. Unfortunately, there have been many instances where deep sea divers have encountered way more than they bargained for. These instances are usually followed by extremely devastating... I know, I'm sorry, but I keep pausing this, but I watched, um, ever since I started watching that Mr. Ballin guy on YouTube, um, it's confusing me, YouTube, because I watch YouTube on my TV, which means I can't comment, like, I can subscribe sometimes, but I, I well, no, I can subscribe, sub scrub, scribe, I can scrub, scribe all the time, but I can't like or comment, so, um, I don't know, but... Anyway, I was watching that Mr. Ballin guy, and I've watched a lot of the cave diving ones, and hell, hell no, I would not do that. But, open ocean? God, I want to see a whale so much. I want to see whales! Somebody pay for me to see whales. <laughs> I want to see some whales, but I'm so far. Stating consequences <laughs> that can never be undone. Just like what happened to the oh. diver in this story. This is one experience he'd never be able to forget, no matter how hard he tried. Justin Talon and Michael Micheloni were avid deep sea divers. They absolutely loved the sense of- His name- his last name is Micheloni? There's a lot of things I could do with that. Like, bro shouldn't be Micheloni in the ocean if he's looking- if he ain't trying to get into trouble. Secondly, imagine the- his family, like, I wonder what types of The mystery and adventure that came with deep sea diving. Oh, scary. Their favorite type of place to go deep sea diving in are relatively remote areas where not a lot of people or boats tend to be in. Oh, deep That deep way, the sea? wildlife are lively and unafraid to come out and be active. Yes! And the environments are undisturbed and kept in the same snoop. conditions they've been in for potentially thousands snoop. of years. Plus, Sometimes it's nice to have a unique experience that no one else has ever had before. Oh my god, imagine. Traditional experiences that anyone like, can participate in like and get stale fast. <laughs> like that girl from The diving that site of choice this game. time around for Justin and Michael was a coral <laughs> reef alongside a remote Japanese island called Irumotejima. This was a place that potentially held some interesting artifacts from the ancient Japanese era as well as some undisturbed wreckage sites back from World War II. You're talking about that. Needless to that say, the pair of divers were very excited to begin their expedition ancient, ancient, and document ancient, their findings. But little did they know, did this would this? be the one diving trip that, that could change absolutely Mahalo. everything and possibly give them nightmares for years to come. Their expedition didn't start out too exciting. There were some interesting sea creatures they had the pleasure of meeting How as they ventured be deeper. Exciting? But nothing remotely resembling ancient artifacts or World War II wreckage sites. Eventually, the divers thought it would be a better idea if they split up to cover more ground. He's Obviously, be they couldn't go too far away from each other because the water was dark and communication was limited. But perhaps they could cover a bit more ground this way and increase the chances of making an interesting discovery. 
All of a sudden, Justin came across what looked like a flattened metal ship or boat. Thinking this was strange as he's never seen a boat that's been flattened before, he decided to take a closer look and inspect it. Upon further investigation, the flattened boat was determined to be a wrecked plane instead. This made a lot more sense. Completely flattening a boat made of metal is something that's probably impossible unless specific tools or machineries were used to carry out the task. The plane itself looked like it was a standard US warplane from World War II. As Justin was taking pictures of the wreckage site, he noticed that something was still inside the plane. The window was very foggy due to it sitting on the ocean for approximately 75 like, years, so a clear glimpse of what could be inside was impossible to obtain. So Justin yes. took it upon himself to open the door of the plane. Surprisingly, the door opened without any difficulty whatsoever. But shortly after opening the door, a large mass flew out towards Justin, giving him quite the scare. The large mass turned out to be a World War II pilot who must have been flying the aircraft when he crashed the, the ocean. Man, the pilot's versus... seatbelt was keeping him attached to the plane. After Justin was able to process what had happened, he began to take more pictures of his discovery. He also started recording a video of the wreckage site and its surroundings so that it would be easier to return to the site later on. Once on back at impact. the surface and on their boat, the two divers shared everything they had come across while the exploring. The worst thing I can think of is drowning and burning alive. Literally. And I guess being strangled because the same as drowning in a way. I don't know. Maybe being strangled is worse than drowning. Because drowning, they say you take that deep gulp of water and you're kind of like fucked after that. Being strangled takes a lot longer. Some people say drowning is, like, peaceful. And I'm like, I don't buy that shit for a second because I would be scared out of my goddamn mind. But they say after you take that gulp in, you're kind of just, like... They never see people that drown, like, really freaking out, like... In the very beginning, yeah? But then eventually they're just, like, chill. And then they just... I don't know. But what could be going on inside their heads? We don't know. That's where that's where it all lies, right here. That's where it's going on. Oops, what did I hit? Swifty. Or in the area. Michael was relatively surprised that Justin found what he did. It turns out that Justin's discovery was much bigger than he thought. Oh, no the shit. pilot found he in the wreckage site that. turned out to be U.S. Marine pilot 2nd Lieutenant John McGrath. Michael shit? actually yes. had a connection to the pilot because he was a high school friend of his father. What? McGrath was also listed as one of approximately 73,000 Americans missing in action from oh, World War II. The case of McGrath had gone cold for years until Justin's discovery off the remote Japanese island. It finally gave Michael and his family closure as the story of McGrath's disappearance had been a story shared for generations within the family. Now they finally I knew what really that. happened to him and could be at peace finally knowing I mean, for I certain. I guess one time his dad was like, yeah, someone I knew from high school disappeared. But that he's resting in peace. He's not in peace. We don't know where the fuck he is. What we really did was bring two incomplete halves of a story together for the first time. So now the Japanese know who this pilot is who they have prayed for. And now John McGrath's family and the city of Troy, New York. I thought he was an American. Why are the Japanese praying for him? Knows where their son is, he said. What are the odds of Michael eventually being the one to finally put the case to rest? It's amazing that of all the people that could have discovered the wreckage, it was this diving team. That just goes to show oh. that it's a small world, and things really do end up happening for a reason. Hey, check this out. This is Scott. He was only making k a year before he learned this skill, and now in just six weeks, he's seen these results. Thousands, like what's your? I have to have her do it. Wait, what happened? Oh, I watch this, and they never show anything interesting. But that was very sad. All these college students died. Just horrible. And ever since this movie came out in the first couple years, um, everyone used to call me that girl's name because I had, I have red hair naturally. Uh, and it was long. So everyone would be like, you know who you look like? That girl. And I'd be like, I look nothing like her, but okay. It's because we have red hair. 
she's pretty, so I was like, you know, I'm flattered anyway. Anyway, we'll see this change or danger. Because some of his stuff cracks me up. So let's see. No way. Did you guys see what that thing is? What is up, guys? My name's Shane Your Danger. I'm out here in the jungle, the urban jungle, that is, and we're gonna go treasure hunting down in Waikiki now that the swells have finally shifted from the South Shore to the North Shore. It's starting to be winter here, and so that means that it's dead flat out there, and there's a good opportunity that we might find some treasure. So if you guys are new to the channel, go down, hit subscribe, ring the bell. He knows when to go. Well, it's the best way to make sure you get notified every single time I post a new video. And if you're coming from TikTok, I want you guys to put the bag of money emoji. We are securing the bag today. I'm here with Brittany. We're going to go out and find some treasure out there. It's going to be. The thing that I like about him, the bag emoji, they're securing the bag. I don't care what other way, but they be, unless they be dumping it all back in before they get out the water. They clean up the ocean. You'll see in a bunch of these. You'll see. Be awesome. I know that there's something out there. I found a GoPro last time, like when I was looking for a different GoPro. So I know that there is something oh, to I find remember. today. And I you guys are going to come here and watch us go find it. One more thing, guys. We had two contests in some of the last videos. And I have the winners. I'm ready to announce them. So I'm going to announce them at some point during the video. So if you enter those contests, make sure that you watch it the entire way through. And you'll have a chance to win it. Okay, so we're going to go get in the water. But really quick before we get in, a quick word from our Imagine it was me. <laughs> Sponsor for today's video. Skillshare I I is an online learning community with oh, I want to Skillshare conflict. I do. I Whether do. you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self care through creativity, I'm to fend off like predators and people. So, I mean, I, well, no, I already took lessons on street fighting, how to use my area as a, you know, and the things around me as a thing to fight with. But you can learn so much. I kind of, I really want to join that, but I, I'm poor as hell right now. This water is so. I gotta buy a new car. My car shit itself. <laughs> so clear. It was like sparkling. This is definitely the clearest I've ever seen it in Waikiki. Hi, Brini. Yeah, yeah, so it's clear. super clear. I think we'll definitely be able to find some stuff. There's still a little bit waves. All the groms are out. And then not long. Out searching, found this gold bracelet. I was freaking out. That's so I showed it to Brittany, and of course, she puts it on right away. Yeah, and I'm I like, uh. Yo, I thought that was gold when I first saw it on the bottom. I was like, oh my god, I just found a gold bracelet. So it wasn't actually gold, but it still looked really pretty. And then Brittany comes up and she has this jar, and I'm like, what is in this jar? Oh my. It's a jar. I don't care how this looks, okay? We gotta do something about this. I say things people aren't supposed to say. There's a villain else. She said, I say things people aren't supposed to say. My gosh. We do. This thing is so old. I'm sorry, where was that? Off the ground? What? It was freaky looking. Like, I was like, how long has this been here? What could be in it? Like, there's sand and who knows what else. I don't know, the top is so decrepit. I think I'm gonna crack it up. It's not like a good idea too. So Brittany gave me the go-ahead. She was the one that found it, so it's her call. And I just slowly she start. Took his bracelet straight away. <laughs> to take this thing apart it could be anything in there i'm so creeped out by it so it opens and then oh it... see this bag that they have well he has it. i'm not sure what she had but they're always picking up garbage and i love that i just love it he's untangled sea turtle he's he's, he's done all the good shit you want to see in the ocean it looks like smoke is coming out of it, but I think it's just sand and silt and stuff. And then, oh my God, that thing was so creepy. I don't know what that is, but it was very, very creepy. And then try to get some other stuff out of it. I didn't want to put my hand in in case there was something sharp. And then this thing came out and it was so weird to touch it. <laughs> I told you, freaky. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, you. Oh, he's coming over. And then there's my friend Johnny the Ripper coming by on the foil. Oh, so, cool. so anyways, back to the jar. There was some creepy, Johnny the Ripper. <laughs> be creepy stuff coming out of it. Sludge only. Dang it. <laughs> Maybe there was a message and then. Yeah, it was probably a fucking can of like people on a damn ship. 
that can stuff that's that's the kind of jar it looks like honestly so um <laughs> whatever that creature was moved in Brittany, quit finding all the dank treasure without me is that the message that was written inside the bottle oh just a piece of fiberglass so we take all that trash with us then I found this piece of wax, so surfers will put it in their pocket and keep it with them, but it looks like that one fell out. And then I found this hat, and it looked brand new. Can you believe someone lost it to someone's brand new? And then I saw this eel, and then I found a card to someone's hotel room. And then Brittany found this really nice shell. And then I thought I found a ring, but it was just another shell. And then Brittany found an earring. Oh my goodness. It's silver. Real? Yeah. Yeah. I see it's tarnished. I see if it's stamped somewhere. So I checked the stamp. I could see it. I can't zoom in with the GoPro. 925. What's the percentage of silver that it is? Then I found this piece of glass. Brittany found a crab claw. And I was like, hey, let me see that. Yeah, gotcha. And then Brittany found a shoestring. And I found this piece of plastic. A hair tie, they and then I gotta watch out for that surfer. Tie. And then this dude was like, hey, I lost my watch, can you help me find it? And then Brittany pointed out she found it first, and then I went and grabbed it. I was gonna let you grab it. Oh, I thought you to Got it. Yeah. Convenient timing. You got brand new. You got a good pocket for it, right? Okay, cool. So that was easy. The guy was super stoked. Uh, then I went and got this little piece of glass. It looks really sharp and How it could break easily. That? So I definitely didn't want to leave that out there. And then I thought I found a shell, but it was just that fish that always tricks me. Another hair tie. And then I found some kids swim goggles. They're actually pretty nice. I didn't throw them away. And then I found a dingle hopper. And this weird metal pole is out here. I had no idea there was this kind of thing out here. And then some like concrete structure that's very strange. I didn't know that that was there either. So that was really surprising, a piece of rubber. Sorry for the interruption. So the winner of the lizard is Rachel, underscore Rachel Peters. I got her account up on the side. You can see like, Bitch, you sent me a lizard? The roof is not my child, but I will raise it. I mean, I guess I get it, but she also sounds like she works for the news or something. Unless it's some slang or Largo, I don't understand. <laughs> I said Largo. <laughs> Jargon, I don't understand. Yeah. So send me a, a DM on Instagram, Rachel Peters, and then the winner of the watch is OG Claudia. I think it's an underscore, I don't remember. It's right here, you can see it. So She won a damn lizard. I mean, hey, if it was brighter in here right now, because honestly, I don't like to have a lot of lights. I'm like a fucking weird vampire, <sighs> which makes daytime hard for me, but I fully invest in natural lighting, so I don't really have a lot of lights except these two bright ones for photographs, um, but I have a lot of... Um, Jurassic Park stuff. So, I mean, lizards are pretty cool with me. I'm just saying. I wouldn't want either of these, to be honest. I normally know what time it is. I have that mental clock. Oh, oh, it tells me what time I need food and what time I got to freak out and what time I'm tired. Claudia and Rachel Peters, send me a DM and I will be sending these prizes to you guys right now. And for all you guys out there that didn't win, don't be discouraged. We'll be doing more contests here on my page and maybe we'll even do some crazier giveaways like stuff like this. So make sure you're subscribed. Okay, let's get back to the video. Like, and then I saw Brittany and the water was really murky. So I was like, let's see if I can get her. And I totally scared her. Hi, Hi. sneak in the murky water. <laughs> I got a thick shell. Oh, cool. Can I see it? So she showed me her shell. It's actually really nice. I've never seen one that big that's that nice. color. Good job, and then I found this sequin from someone's bikini, I think. And then Brittany found this jagged pole. Looks very scary. Looks like it's a stand up paddle piece. It's a pretty gnarly, stabby end. Good thing we got that out of here. That's what was sticking up. Oh my gosh. That could hurt you so bad. If you just got unlucky and fell on it. Wow. And then I saw the literally the biggest turtle I've ever seen. Like it could have been 400 pounds. This thing was massive. 
I just swam behind him. He had no care in the world. Put my hand for scale. You still can't really tell how big he is, but he's just huge. I could not believe it. I've never Gosh. seen one that big. And then I found I another hair tie. Nothing strange about that. And then I went to look in this cave and an no way. Did you guys see what that thing is? If you want to eat healthy and feel your best, you got to try Kachava. Kachava is the world's healthiest all-in-one meal shake. Meal it's shake? made with over... Yeah, if you're a freaking... I think... Oh my gosh. I think it's an urn. I went to check out some of the other stuff. Like there's this necklace and this piece of metal. And I was like, does this stuff just end up here? Or was it put there? Like, is this... Oh my gosh. Maybe somebody Rip. would be buried there. Go look in there. Yeah. So I told Britt to go look, and the waves were pushing us mysteriously. I think there's like someone in that. Yeah. Do you want to just fish the whole urn out here? Yes. Are you going to leave it? Yeah. Are you going to take someone's human remains in? Well, I'm sure they're washed out by now. I don't think so. I think it might be sealed. I don't think I'll touch it. Do you want to be cursed? Oh my god, I'm not touching that. So I did go down and just touch it a little. I just wanted to see if it was stuck in there or if it had just ended up there. It was very, very strange to find this thing. Just looking at the other stuff that's in there, some piece of glass. It could become beach glass eventually. And then I checked it and it literally does feel sealed. So I think that someone like cemented this in here and it's intentionally placed in this hole. I think it's like cemented in. So I think someone knew that what they were doing. We found some pretty cool stuff out there. The freaking human remains. That was crazy. I hope that we don't have a curse, either of us. I didn't touch it. Yeah, oh, well, I touched it just because you told me to take it out. But I was not <laughs> going to take it out. They look like brother and sister. I feel like they are, but maybe they are. I, I mean, I, I never thought about that until just a second when I said I feel like they are. As if I'd known the whole time, or had been thinking that. So windy. Yeah, I I pulled on it a little bit. It seemed like it. Okay, that's fine. Um. Anyway. Um, I kind of like the shorts. What is up, guys? We just got done diving. Okay, so he must live in hawaii now that's cool what's a thrash hole a thrash hole a thrash hole that's what i'm gonna give you if you fuck with me oh look they have another one shanger and Brittany. are they together or they look like brother and sister so confused but some of these are fun to watch okay so Bitch, you were in a $2,000 Cartier ring in the ocean? Are you fucking dumb? Clearly, you spent $2,000 on a ring. I'm sorry. Unless, maybe she's a millionaire. Maybe she's a billionaire. Unless I was a billionaire, I don't think I would spend $2,000 on a ring. First of all, I don't like wearing them. And I am engaged. I don't like wearing them. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't like it. They, every time I try to reach for something in the grocery store, it'd be hitting off of stuff. Freaking shiz be falling out. And I worry about it. The last nice ring I had was my grandma's. Gold, like pure, the purest of gold. With the birthstones of, well, at least the, when she got it made. Because she had like 13 kids or something crazy. I don't remember. But at least, like, six of the children, um, which included my dad in the birthstone. And there was just the gold, cool design birthstones. And I went to Red Lobster. Took it off to wash my hands. Left it there. And some motherfucker at Red Lobster took it. I don't even go to... I don't even eat meat. I went there for some biscuits and lost my gold ring for my grandma. I don't wear... Ever since then... I don't wear a ring. I don't. I hate them. I would rather get a tattoo of a ring. Which is probably what I'll do. If someone's gonna marry me, I'm gonna be like, bitch, I ain't wearing no ring, so you better tattoo that shit on me. Yourself. <laughs> 
Anyway, let's look at some of these. Um, they see the octopuses a lot. I was out diving the other day and I found my octopus. The doctor said I was all good. I was out diving the other day and I found my octopus friend Octavius Maximus. Max was so excited to see Brittany that he gave her a big hug on her arm and he was squeezing so tight that she couldn't get him off. Finally, he agreed to grab on her leg so that we could do some videos. And we were able to get this really cool one of them swimming together. Hang on tight, Max. Then Max was like, Brittany, I have something to tell you. And he grabbed onto her face and she was like, what is it, Max? And then he was like, I want to take another video. So then they dove down and did another one. It looked so cool. Then Max said he wanted to take a video with me. So I was like, okay, can Come here, Max. So he grabbed onto my face like a face <laughs> hugger. Then Max was like, okay, now lick. And I was like, lick where? And then I realized where my mouth was. Oh, gross, Max, get off of me. Finally, it was time to say goodbye to our octopus friend, Max. So Brittany waved and gave him a little kiss. Then I waved too, and he swam off. Okay, bye, Max. I was out diving the other day, and I found my octopus friend, Octavia. The doctor said, Brittany and I have been- I do The doctor said I was all good, so Britt and I are going surfing again. Hopefully nobody tries to run me over this time. Right. When we got out there, I saw this turtle and I tried to show him to you guys, but then I fell in the water. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna try to catch a wave. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Hey, Brittany, look, there's a rainbow. Brittany, stop it. You're squirting all over me. Brittany, no. Oh, Britt, there's a wave coming. Let's surf it. Oh, nice drop in. Okay, 100 people are paddling for this wave, so I'm gonna go on the next one. Oh my gosh, now they're all standing in the wave. Watch out, coming through. Speed bumps. Yes, Brittany and I got up on another one. I'm gonna try to get a good video of her, but there's some people in the way I gotta watch out for. Squeeze me. Yeah, Britt. That was definitely our best wave. We're having so much fun surfing. I hope to see you guys next time. Okay, that's all the stuff we did. Bye. Brittany and I... We were out. Brittany and I have been going... We were out. Brittany and I have been going surfing a lot, so I wanted to show you guys the progress that we've been making. Dang, I couldn't make that one, but maybe the next one we can ride together. Okay, here comes a wave. Paddle, 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 paddle. Pop up. All right, Brittany, we got on the wave together. Nice turn. Oh my gosh, look, there's a rainbow. Okay, here comes another wave, Brittany. Let's see if we can ride one under the rainbow. We did it. We're literally surfing under a rainbow. This is so cool. It's starting to get pretty crowded out here, so I think I want to take one in. I tried to pop up, and it was literally mayhem right next to me. Uh, uh, excuse me, can you not do that right there? Okay, I'm gonna paddle back out and try to get a better one. Uh, these people are coming towards me, but they should go around me. Uh, oh, oh, oh my gosh, you went straight into me. I might have to go to the hospital now. Okay, bye. Brittany and I have been going. We were out. Oh my. We were out swimming around, and I thought I noticed something down in the sand. I went down to get a closer look, and I realized it was my crab friend, Dale. Dale is what's known as a gambling addict, and we have a bit of a rocky past. I know, it's my fault. I enabled him. I lent him $40,000 to bet on horse races, and he lost all of it. So he owes me that money, and that's why he's always running away from me. Dale was like, look at me, man. I put 40 k on Blue Clover. If he would have ran like like this, I would have made 1.6 mil and I would have finally been able to afford that house I've been looking at. And I was like, I know Dale, I get it, but horses don't have eight legs and they don't run like. Well, anyways, Dale. Look at all the damn jewelry she's wearing. Well, I guess they find a lot, so she's like, fuck it, I'll be returning to the ocean. Um, on my dive today, Brittany found these three shells before I even got in the water. Wow, you really scored on these, Brett. We were out swimming around, and I thought I noticed His voice is weird. something down in the sand. I went down to get a closer look, and I realized it was my crab friend, Dale. Imagine it. <laughs> that is a possessed crab, first of all. Possessed. Look at this shit. He's like the creepiest fucking smile. And these two little beady, sunken in, but somehow not sunken in, eyes. And these little sharp little beady 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 beadies. So, um... Let's just say that Dale and I go way back and we have a bit of a rocky past. Dale is what's known as a gambling addict and I know it's my fault I enabled him. Last week I was doing a photo shoot with my friends Elizabeth and Milady and let's just say they were having a little bit of an issue with the whole graceful mermaid thing. Luckily Brittany was there to show them how it's done and after Britt did her dive the girls were starting to figure it out. I got these really nice shots of Milady and then Elizabeth went next. Oh, a kissing pose, I love that. Then Brittany was like hey you're not gonna believe what i found in the sand it was this gold ring and i was like gosh this looks so familiar yeah i swear this is one of your guys rings uh, yeah i 
everything. Oh, um, I lost everything. Wow, you lost my ring. You find my ring. No, Brittany found it. Oh. Somehow she also lost her snorkel, but luckily I found it. Okay, that's all the stuff we saw. Bye. Last week, I was doing a photo shoot with my On my dive yesterday, I saw one of my octopus friends and I wanted to show you. But first I found this little piece of plastic and then I found this weird metal thing and I realized it was a vape pen. Which one of you fishies was vaping? Don't you know it's not healthy? Then I found a paper towel stuck to the reef and it may not seem like it, but it can actually do a lot of damage. Then Brittany wanted me to take this cool video of her diving and I think I held the camera in the perfect spot. Then I found the cutest little shell I've ever seen. It looked like there was something living inside though, so I put it back. He loves shells like that. I, mean, I heard that these are boring to you. They can be far away sometimes, so I guess you might not know where they're at. He's hiding in his scar. Are they? I want to see some wild babies. So I was picking up hair ties underwater and I found this dive gear and I wondered if someone disappeared. Then I found hair tie number nine and ten. And there was a f or a whale. Let's see. <gasps> he did. Oh my god, please tell me you just saw that. The whale? The whale. Oh my god. The whale. She's like, the whale? Yeah, I know what a whale is. Oh my god. A whale. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I would shit myself, piss myself, and be so happy. Oh god. We're fine, we're fine. believe me when I tell you this, but I swear it's true. And good thing I got it on camera to prove it. I was enjoying some fresh seawood when all of a sudden I saw an animal stranded on the beach trying to die. I quickly spit out my lunch and ran over to help. It turns out it was a stranded comb jellyfish. This is one of the coolest jellyfish I've ever seen. And I'll show you why in just a second. But first, I wanted to show you just how wiggly it is. Okay, this is why they're so cool. They literally glow underwater. Let's go home, buddy. Afterwards, I ran the little jelly boy back to the water, gave him a gentle yeet, and be sure to follow. If you love ocean animals. I like that guy. Oh my god, please tell me you just You were not He's not Ooh, doing This cobra too is much. looking angry, so I better get this. He reminds me of me. Like he's not doing Ooh. too much. It's the real reason. God damn it. He's <laughs> What? Huh? Who? What? Oh, it's just you. Uh hi. -huh. What are you doing? Oh, are you happy girl? Come on, happy girl. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay, come on. Just rest yourself. I know the cable's always gonna be there. You're gonna have to get used to it, okay? It's my tea. Alright. I'm sorry I forced you to smooch me. Well, she's smooching me back, see? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I found you on the side of the road. You're the best. You're the best little side of the road baby I've ever found. You know that? I found a couple side of the road babies before. But you're the only one I've ever kept. I don't know why. Well, 
I mean, when I drive on my lawnmower, do I run over baby rabbit nests? No. <gasps> no, I don't. Oh, he's such a hero, Zero. He's such a hero. But you probably run over so many nests while their parents were around. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you're farming right there. In particular. How much do you sleep? About six hours. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, not that crazy. For you, that's, I mean, for someone who does as much as you, that's actually, that's impressive that you can squeeze that in. Yeah. I try, I've tried sleeping less. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? This happened. Oh my gosh, check out this big, chunky moon jellyfish laying here on the beach. There was just a tsunami yesterday. That might be why this guy washed up. This happened in Washington. This happened at school today. Between 30 seconds a minute, the more we wait, the bigger the eruption. Stay where you are. It might be an explosion. In the next 30 seconds. Here we go. This happened at school today. Between 30 seconds a minute, the more we wait, the bigger the eruption. Stay where you are. In the next 30 seconds. I asked my brother to try to redraw my Billie Eilish drawing. Comment below how you think he did. Dude. Don't worry, yeah, okay. I kind of love this Julia girl. I don't know how she popped back in here again <laughs> under stranger danger whales. Is the Ipa da? I must say. He's like, give me some crayons and shit. Oh, that's it's so shit. Oh, you good, right? Hey, so big, so. What's you? Yeah. Aua, 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 aua. I asked my brother to try to She's redraw amazing. my Billie Eilish drawing. Amazing. Comment below how you. you me of the Arizona Hi. Here you can see the the shorts or whatever. I'm not even subscribed to her. I should, but fuck, she does post. I don't know. It's like I I try to love all these people and subscribe to everyone, but then I can't see shit on my. Like, the stuff that I w genuinely watch every day. Like, I want to support everyone, but... Fuck. <sighs> I really do want to support everyone, but it's hard because when... And I know I love people that post every day. The people I watch normally post every day. But then when I have a ton of other people that post every day, I don't know. But she did the coolest thing I've ever seen. She does all kinds of stuff. Um, I mean, she does, oh, sh I can't even, realistic drawings, uh, Billy Eilish, <laughs> we didn't even get to know, but then she does this thing where she puts the, uh, I'm always creating handmade goods and need an online store that makes it easy to add new products. So I just made a new crochet basket and need to add it to my Shopify store. Shopify allows me to take multiple.
boys team just because I like some D. But, you know, I'm definitely bi because some women, Scarlett Johansson, ah, Cara Devangeline, um, fucking possibly Elle Fanning. I don't know. I like them interesting looking ass people, but... Okay. looks okay see this see the eyes seem very blurry just and then she's gonna shadow it in see the lips all right okay so we see this now let's see when she takes it off Ready? okay see how she filled it in there's the middle she uses that as the middle of the lip and that is the little edge that you the little shadow you get underneath of a full lip i guess um Cupid's bow with a little thing. Okay, just the nostrils in general. Blah, 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 blah. So this is probably some design used to fix this. And then this just brings it up to the middle. Okay, I okay. Basic understanding. Perfect. Love it. Okay. But yeah, looks blurry. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so still blurred. But... Still, amazingly, as blurred as it looked with that mask on, does it not look different? Holy shit. I didn't tell anybody I was coming on Twitch, so. I love you. Wait, hold on. I love you. You love me. We. We're a <laughs> nobody's gonna come on. I didn't tell anybody I was on here. <laughs> when you're the neighbor and stuff, and stuff like that looked like fucking no, it doesn't know me. Social crime, social crime, social crime. <laughs> Why that boy opened the door? Oh, it's only 26 seconds. You're an okay kid, little Jack. Oh, I don't that. understand, Uncle Arthur. Your pa ain't nothing special. How's it going? Go away now! Let's hope you don't grow up like him. Please, go away! Stop antagonizing little Jack, man. I played that game. Leave little Jack alone, alright? Although, it's kind of funny. Is he a Marsden? I think he is. Is he the Marsden? 
The baby marched into the to the to the John no John Marston. Wait, who's the guy I originally played? I thought his name was John Marston. Is this John as well? Oh yeah, I remember that. I love it. Um, okay. Why open this? That shame. All I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house. Aww. Little Wayne. We don't talk. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk about CB Joe. We don't talk anymore. Like we used to do. We don't talk anymore. Oh, it's all on his phone. We don't talk anymore. They stick my nose up a phone. This video is brought to you by Raycon. We're into everything. I have no idea what's happening. Back in 2017, there was some Stomach drama. Ulcers. I know, drama on the internet? This never happens. Well, guess what? It did. And it happened for a movie called Red Shoes and the Seven Dwarves. Is it dwarf or dwarves? Dwar whatever. Okay, so the drama, the as I said, dwarf. went down in 2017. Stupid. And there was a poster for it stupid. that was on display at Are the Con Movie Festival. It said, what if Snow White wasn't beautiful? And it shows a skinny character next to a girl who is overweight. So it heavily implied that it was saying, if you're fat, you're ugly. And yeah, the internet wasn't very happy about this. It saw the poster as insulting that it was- Okay, hold on, hold on. First of all, when I meet a person, Genuinely, I mean, has anybody ever seen that poster that says, um, what does it say? It says something like, why dentistry is important. Oh, yeah, it's a guy and his family, and he's smiling, and his whole family's smiling, I'll have you like, ee, and he has no eyebrow. It's just gone. But in, in the thing, he's missing a tooth, smiling. No tooth. So it says something like about why dentistry is important. Because, like, you noticed his smile first and not the fact that he's missing an entire eyebrow. Which would, you think would throw your whole face off, but apparently your smile does. So one of the things we mostly judge on is smiles. So going up from there, you're going to look at the genuine shape of the face and everything. Body, I mean, a lot, I don't know how it is for men, but for me being, I'm not totally bi. I've never actually gotten with a girl. I've kissed them, etc. I, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate their bodies. I'm a girl. I appreciate my body. So, I mean, there's so much to appreciate about a woman's body as there is for a lot of men's bodies. So I'm just saying, but, um, a woman's body is somehow just always beautiful. I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying always. Because. But. Being overweight and unhealthy is. It's not the thing anymore. And some people just got to get over it. I mean. Why do you think it makes. Why do you think it's unattractive to some people to be overweight because it's not healthy and us as human beings look for other healthy human beings regardless of a lot of things i'm not going to put into the fact that plastic surgery does to trick people I'm not putting that in at all because i just can't but i'm just saying somebody that has a more fit look is healthier so in general yeah we're going to be more attracted some people there's always people that are different and they're play on the side of, I like them, whatever. And I don't care. But I'm just saying. When I read this, what if Snow White was no longer beautiful and the seven dwarves not so short? The thing that freaks me out about it isn't the fact that it says, what if Snow White is no longer beautiful? Because first of all, if you're not 
classically fucking beautiful, you're not. Bitch, I ain't. And second of all, the thing that scares me is, and the seven dwarves not so short? Is this supposed to be them? What are they? That's kind of scary to me. What does that mean? But anyway, this girl's saying, how did this get approved by an entire marketing team? First of all, you've seen a lot of stuff. Second of all, your whole thing is about being overweight. Sorry. She is overweight for her size and her overweight cannot be discriminated against. If you're overweight for your size, that's it. Like, do I have to lift my shirt up for you to prove that I'm not perfect? I have a lot of not perfect flaws about me, so fuck off. But, um, but if you're going to tell young kids being fat equals ugly, okay, no, but it's also not attractive in the way that, like, we as humans, we tend to forget that we're animals. We are fucking animals, literally, literally. I know someone calls someone an animal and they're like, oh, they're an animal, meaning that in a bad way. But no, we're animals, so... What other animals base off of sometimes is so ridiculous. The ones that they mate with or love or whatever is crazy. Imagine birds just because someone has a certain type of feather, a certain coloring. I mean, just because we're humans, yeah, we're more progressed in that way. But it definitely doesn't mean you're ugly because ugly is a very, mm, I don't know how to say ugly is a word, but you could be a lovely person inside. And I think that's what a lot of these people that do stuff like this don't understand. And they just say fat equals ugly. That's what they're stuck on, you know? Um, when in reality, it should be a lot of what I just said. I mean, I mean, as far as my opinion, it's just my opinion. But fat, when you're an adult, but if you're telling young kids fat equals ugly, I mean, I think any young kid... How many generations do you think it would take to go back to the times where being fat was attractive? And it wasn't even attractive. It wasn't attractive in the way that we were like, oh, that's sexy as hell. It might have been maybe in some weird ass areas. And I don't say that in any mean disregarding way. I'm just saying I remember like reading something about some, I don't know if it was like Persian or something. It looked like a straight up man. And I don't know, might not have been a true story, said that she like, people killed themselves because she rejected her and she looked like a straight up man. But I'm just saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so, but also beauty and ugliness is also in the eye of the beholder and comes to show with, um, you know, your personality. But it's just too much to push into. I can't. I'm for both people, but I don't like the fact that people just think things are black and white. Like, it's not. Nothing is. And we are animals. I'm an animal. You're an animal. We are animals. So we go based off of healthier look. who looks healthy to us and attractive. Why do they look healthy and attractive to us? You know? If they're not healthy, why do they look attractive to us? <laughs> there might be something... I, I'm just saying there might be something a little bit wrong with <laughs> with your shit going on. But that's always the way it is. So, I don't know. I hate when people just do this black and white shit. What scares me is the fact that why are the dwarves not so short? What the fuck does that mean? Is that them? Fat shaming. But that was three years ago and was like the last I heard of it until about a month ago. I got an email, somebody said, hey, this movie is out, you should see it. So I did. I wanted to see what the actual movie said. 
Is it insulting? Does the plot reflect the poster or was that only a mistake? And also it looks really good. I watched the trailer and I thought, wow, this looks competent. Also, it's from South Korea. And let's be real here. I don't get to talk about South Korean or foreign animated movies too often. So I figured, hey, why the hell not? And for those asking, yes, I will be reviewing Paddock. Pa Padak, Padak. I will do a word search on how you say that appropriately whenever I review the movie. But yes, the <laughs> dark version of Finding Nemo, I will be reviewing that on my channel next month. That movie Finding looks Nemo. very, very grim, and I can't wait to see it. But for now, let's talk about Shoot. Red Shoes. I kind of want to watch it. All right, so who's behind this film? As I said, it's from South Korea, and it was done by a studio called Locus Creative Studios. The main director is Song Ho Hung, and I don't know much about him. It says here that he's known for something called Egg Cola, a miracle in the desert, which I've not seen. Looks interesting. I'll have to check it out. But yeah, this was like the premiere film for Locus, a big step into the world spotlight to say, hey, we can make animated cinematic movies. Check it out. They just had the unfortunate luck of having awful, awful marketing. Because the movie was planned, I believe, to be released in 2017. But when this poster was revealed to promote the movie, it was a disaster. Like the internet turned on this film. They were saying, this is Shut body up, shaming. This is fat shaming. It's You're not. being cruel just to people off. who are overweight by calling them it's ugly. Just not good marketing. It is a pretty insulting poster. So that's probably not for the best. And the studio Locus and the folks who were the distributors behind it, called Fine Cut, they what were both- she was just straight up ugly, but not fat. One of her face was wrecked, tore up from the floor up. Mine just tore up from the floor. <laughs> not from the floor up. But what if it was, and she was still fit? She was fucking fit. Uh, would they just say, they just said fat equals ugly. That's, that's what, I can't deal with like, these people Like, yo, sometimes. we messed up. We apologize. That is Didn't not really the message of our movie. Even the honest. main voice actress for this film was like, yeah, um, this was a mistake for the marketing. I swear to you, this movie is so much more than that. It's not trying to be insulting. This was just really, really, really bad marketing. Really to which, at some point, someone who was in charge had to have signed off to approve the yeah. marketing. So there is no doubt here. Somebody messed up and, and they paid the price for it. When I was talking about this movie on Twitter, a lot of folks in the comments were like, oh yeah, that movie, the one that was fat shaming. And I'm like, well, that's a bummer because the movie itself, which I've watched by now, of course, is like the complete opposite with its message. But I'll get to that here in a bit. Here's something that's very interesting though. There were teasers for this film back in 2016. Okay. And in the teaser, you have Snow White, who's a lot more, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, risque, a, a bit more sensual, if you will. You have the dwarves who are white in skin tone. And because when you look at the poster, they have green skin. So there were some changes from the teaser concepts and how they move really forward matter. with the final cut of the film. I looked up to see what the original the premise was about. Like, and it no says that in like the movie, green. the dwarves are actually handsome knights who have been placed under a spell. To lift the curse, they must recover a pair of magical red shoes that are being worn by a woman who has put on a few extra pounds. Yes, again, I, I really think that the original concept they looked back at it and said, we need to change this. So, hey, maybe the original movie was a lot more insensitive initially. And then when they saw the marketing, the backlash to the marketing, they said, okay, scrap the original idea. We've got to change it. Now oh, I'm just so, speculating. So I don't know skinny? what the original idea was. Cause maybe the original maybe idea the was something a lot more sensitive, again? but I think the How's backlash was enough for them to go, we will never touch this idea if that was their original like objective. Once more, it is disappointing how damaging shoes. this marketing was for the film she because a lot of folks a lot. A didn't see it magic. or didn't care to see it. 
They saw it as just something that was not worth their time and that had bad press. And like, again, the distributors, the studio, they were backpedaling hard to make up for the marketing. But at that point, I feel like the damage was done and that the only way they could really clear their name is for folks to hopefully watch the film and see it for what it's worth, which was what I wanted to do and is what I want to relay over to you all. Because guess what? This movie is much, much, much better, both in visuals and tone and story than what the marketing leads you on to believe. It's kind of cool because when I saw this film, I thought, wow, this looks a lot like Frozen. And it's because one of the designers for the characters for Frozen worked on this movie. You also have to- First of all, it makes sense. Second of all, um, How many people do you think would put those shoes on if it made them more attractive to us animals out here? Which is what we're looking at. We find attraction in different qualities, but one of them is in your general first look and impression. Bitch. Tell me some of you wouldn't be wearing them shoes on days. Lie to me. Fill my ears with fucking sweet, sweet lies. Tony Bancroft, who worked on this film, he's also a previous Disney animator. I believe he did Pumbaa for The Lion King. So you got some real talent who worked on this film. So it's again, like disappointing that the marketing punched this film in the gut. Nobody fucking said that when it could have had a much more successful release. That being said, as far as the release goes, it has yeah, hasn't been officially released in the US yet. Uh, it's been done in Germany, a bunch of other countries across the world, but like the US, no, not, not here. Because they're fucking scared of us because we're little crying whine, whiny baby bitches about shit sometimes. And I don't know if it ever will. Uh, probably not now, considering the circumstances of the current uh, time that we live in for the world. Maybe it might be picked up by a streaming site. When was this? 2020. Okay, so it's been two weeks. Almost two years. Who knows? But that all being said, yes, uh, the film cost 12 million to make. It only made around half back at the moment. So kind of not a success. And that's a Yep, it's me, Red Shoes. So what is the movie about? A quick synopsis. I I'll try yeah, to keep this brief. This, so this film is a, of course, fairy tale story. This. You've got I Snow White, you've got the dwarves, but yep. this film has its own take on this story, mm -hmm. on the original fairy tale. Who's That's even hair? part of like yep. some of the other marketing where it's like, Why are they talking about the boys, huh? What's wrong with the dwarves? What if the dwarves were like this? And what if Snow White was like this? Except this kind of marketing is not the one where it was fat shaming. But yeah, the premise is about Snow White. She's overweight. Her father remarried to this one witch. And this witch has a tree which can grow fruit, apples. And the apples will turn into shoes. And these shoes can provide immortality and eternal youth. And- Bitch, you wanna bet? Someone putting them, you all are putting them on. Fuck off. <laughs> Tree though wasn't cooperating with the mother and Red Shoes, that's her nickname, but Snow White's her actual name, is walking past the tree one night when she was investigating her father's office. Cause again, the father's missing. And while she's in the office, she sees the tree. She grabs the shoes. She escapes the castle. And her mother is, who is evil. She's the villain is like, we must find those shoes and find whoever it can only grow one pair of shoes. Took them because she didn't. I guess. Know that Snow White, her daughter-in-law, her stepdaughter, <laughs> stepdaughter—that's the right word—took the shoes. Regina. No, my shoes. Yes. We're also introduced to the seven dwarves, who were actually not dwarves. And what are they all gonna wear this? Year? Initially, they were just humans humans with superpowers they were like the defenders of the kingdom they were called like the super seven and one day they attacked oh, a witch okay. yeah i was gonna say that one i see the one that looked 
because they thought like, oh, it's a princess. No, it's a witch. Witches are evil. So they attacked the witch. The witch turned them into dwarves. It's a kind of a cool curse, actually. The way the curse works is whenever another human looks at you, you turn into a dwarf. So when they're by themselves, they transform back to their original self. But when they are around like other people or their friends or out in public, they come across as a dwarf. That's kind yeah. of cool. There's yeah. even some bits in the film where they have some like comedy routines of like the frustrations of being tall, then short, then tall, then short. Ah, oh, there it is. Merlin, Who? have you seen my cookbook? Have you checked in the kitchen? The main character- I thought they were allowed to look at each other. Or they have to sit, oh, they have to be by, oh, I thought they meant by themselves as in the whole group. Okay, never mind. All right, Richter, I'm good. For the dwarf. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Red shoes and the dwarves. Yep. It didn't go as planned. C is autism movie. I kind of want to watch that. Fuck. I mean, I did. It's getting late, though. I got to go. Why do I still have? Yeah, I know. Okay, let me put this up so it'll be on my Finally, y'all, I am in therapy. I've always heard people say that going to therapy was the best thing that they've ever done. And I'm like, um, how though? How did you find a therapist? How did you know you needed therapy? Yeah, because... Sponsored by Raycon. In, it's easier. Sorry. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh yeah, weren't they weren't they mad at her for not putting actors that had autism in the movie? Cuz there's never been a movie where someone's acted crazy or has acted like they had a mental illness or disease or anything psychopathy polio, anything. Anything, literally anything you can think of. There's never been a movie with that happening. Fuck. But I I want to watch this and figure this out. But I actually do want to be a responsible person. And since it's my first day of work tomorrow, I want to chillax with a bit. I mean, with a bit. With my cats for a bit. And that's what I'm going to do. So. <gasps> my thingy. <laughs> <laughs> okay um yeah okay so i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys later goodbye have a great day let me make sure nobody said hi i'm sure they didn't but just in case fill this out for me okay i love you <laughs> i love i love you you love me we're a welcome to the chat room no just fill it out I love you, I love you, you love me, we're a fucking misery. And the shots rang out. <laughs> Jackie hit the floor, no one hit the <laughs> Okay, anyway, we've been through, oh wait, that's right doesn't matter goodbye and oh god i'm scared i'm scared of the dwarves <laughs> i'm so scared anyway do i look better in a ponytail no i still look crazy as all hell yeah maybe this is why i'm not gonna get accepted to jobs It's fine. It's fine. It'll all be okay. I look better from far away anyway, right? In, and in the dark. Here in the dark. Here in the dark. It's so hard to tell where my body ends and where yours begins. What is that song? <sighs> oh. Hey, boys, I want you both, and I hope that you think that's great. Oh, I hope that you think that's cool. 
Cause I know two guys won't freak together But she forgot about the golden rule It's okay if it's in a three-way It's not gay if it's in a three-way With a honey in the middle there's some leeway It's okay if it's in a one, two, three-way My finger wouldn't get up there <laughs> Sorry Anyway, I'm out Goodbye, have a good night Most of you, some of you aren't going to I'm sorry I'm so depressed Oh boy. My eyeball. Oh. It's reversed. I should have known it was reversed. So it happens.